What up, Danky? What up, Ramen? What up, Bent? What up, 909419413. What's up, guys? This song goes hard. Okay. Cracking that Yerba? Oh wait, ramen. Are you forgetting something, ramen? Oh my god, Dent, you're right, it probably is. Here, you know what? Let's call it live on stream. We'll see what happens.
Ramen, don't worry, I made the tweet. You don't have to remind me. any different of you but you did Nodders Hold on, I'll be right back. I gotta go, I gotta go wash. Oh, hold on, I gotta go do something real quick. Let's fucking do this. Oh, Senor Rita Ramen, Senor Valentino. Let's fucking go.
Have you ever wondered what it's like to take a walk on the wild side? To be able to grab a bull by the horns, take control of your life, feeling like a wolf among sheep who wants no more bullshit. You just want to be that cowboy or cowgirl you were always meant to be. Riding off into those vast distant sunsets. Yeah, that's just the salt of the earth, baby. That's why you're here looking to buy your new 2021 Jeep Tundra Ford F-150 John Deere Ranger. But honestly, you probably can't afford one of those. But what you can afford is a Twitch Prime in Band Incorporated. Which in turn will help him afford his new 2021 Jeep Tundra Ford F-150 John Deere Ranger. Be the change you want to see. It ain't that complicated. Dude, just want to have straight up sex with your tractor. I fucked that up. Brian, what the fuck? What the fuck, Brian? It's the salt of the earth shit. You guys know it's the salt of the earth. You want to have sex with your tractor. Okay, Brian, what the fuck? How did I fuck that up? Never fucked that one up before. What the hell? Uh-oh, what's going on today? What's going on with my brain today? I don't know. Lost. What's up, guys? How did I fuck that up? It's the, it's the best part of the whole commercial about fucking your tractor. Like, how did I fuck that up? It's Brian's fault. He didn't pull up the script. Do I normally have a script? No. But just in case I need to look at it, he should have it pulled up for me. Don't wake me up, guys. Uh, you know what? Yeah, what this song says, don't wake me up. I'm going back to bed. This is just... Ah! Okay, what's up? We're awake. I just needed a nap real quick. You know those like quick naps? You wake up feeling better? That's how I feel now. Ryan, you just want to run the commercial again, see if I fuck it up? Let's see. Let's see. Let's run the commercial one more time, Brian. Let's just go. Go one more time. I'm just kidding. We won't do that again. What up, Lit? Okay, guys, I'm feeling better today. Still feeling a little weird, a little like congested, but not like congested. It's just my whole sinuses just feel swollen. Like I don't feel like I have a bunch of mucus, which I usually do. I have allergies and like there's constantly mucus and congestion going on. But right now it just feels like it's like really like just swollen on the inside, my ears and my nose. Um, I don't feel like I have a fever anymore though. Like yesterday I was starting to feel like my head was getting hot and I just was not feeling good. It's, right now it's just like my sinuses and my throat feel kind of weird. And my throat doesn't like hurt anymore. It just feels like like the same feeling, this like swollen feeling that's going on in my my sinus. It just feels like it's in my, my throat a little bit. But uh, I think it's just allergies at this point. I think if I had a cold or something, I would probably be like full on full on sick, but I'm good, so. Go side. Yeah, it's on my bed, right? Go side. Touch grass. Ooh, a back rub from Danky? A shoulder rub from Danky? Is that, is that what it is? Cause I would love that. What up, Danky? Um, but I was supposed to go to, uh, if, oh, 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 shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Catalina wine mixer. Fucking great. You know, there's gonna be a channel five about the Catalina wine mixer. They actually went to the Catalina wine mixer. We saw the trailer for it. Speaking of channel five. God, these yerbas just make me burp like crazy. I watched Hassan do the same thing though when he drinks his sodas. He'll sit there and he'll like burp a bunch while he's talking. 
But uh, yo, Quinn sixty nine got banned yesterday. We we saw the 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 live stream fail post about it. He got banned for watching that Channel Five video with the cum tribute. That I I unpublished that vod. That vod is gone. It's uploaded on YouTube. If you want to go watch it there, you can watch it on YouTube. It might not be published on YouTube yet though. Might not be. Might might be. I think it is. But. Yeah, he got he got banned for playing that that Channel 5 video, but a lot of other people played it too. Hassan watched the whole thing. I watched it. A lot of other people did. But I don't know how Quinn went about it because anytime there was a scene that was questionable, I went full screen camera so you guys didn't see anything. But you would see a split second of some stuff. Like the cum tribute was definitely shown on stream. Um but sometimes you just got to like realize and it's 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 been proven it's it's not even like a, oh this is a myth this is a conspiracy some people get treated differently on twitch than others during the gta no pixel era when no pixel 3.0 dropped and like hassan and everybody was playing it everybody was going down to the vanilla unicorn strip club and getting lap dances from other players that were role playing as strippers and on stream it wasn't like weird it was like it was like cringy funny it would like they were like they weren't like really trying to sit there and give like Hassan a lap dance they were just trying to like like be funny and like the girls were saying jokes and like being weird and gross and it was it was just funny but twitch didn't like that they didn't like the lap dances Hassan got hit with a warning and was like don't go there anymore just don't do that whereas other people got straight up banned for it didn't get a warning like Randy, Randy Bullet. Uh, what was his name on Twitch? He moved over to Facebook. Uh, forget what his name was. Fuck, dude, that's man going over to Facebook. Man, I used to watch him every day. I know his RP name, Randy Bullet and AJ Bullet, but what was his Twitch name? Rated Epics. Rated Epics. That's what it was. Fuck, dude, I'm forgetting all their names. You move over to Facebook, that's what happens. But you know, Lord Kevin just hit two years. It was two years that he left. Oh my God, it's been two years. So he's going to come back soon. He's going to come back. I guarantee it. I bet his contract is up. I wonder how long his contract was. Or maybe he re-signed with Facebook. But I could see him coming back or moving to YouTube. But still, I saw a clip of, of Ludwig today talking about YouTube and how he said, he's like, oh, there's no point in moving over to YouTube without a big ch paycheck. Even though some of the the changes that Twitch has been making, like with the 70-30 split and things like that, will drive more people to want to move over there, bigger streamers. But still, even Ludwig says there's no point in going over there right now without a big bag, which is what I've been saying since every single person started moving over. Um, but yeah, oh, Facebook, so you... Do you are you uh, de uh, reactivating your Facebook account? Because mine's been deactivated for years. Even even before Lord Kevin moved over to Facebook, I, mine was deactivated, and I have no desire to ever reactivate that bullshit. Yeah, so is mine. So is mine. So so is my family. <laughs> but no, I feel that though for sure. I feel that. I just uh, would not want to be like commenting on a on like somebody's live stream on Facebook with my like all my info on it. Just like you said with the, your your family, all that shit. Like like I don't want anybody in a live stream chat going and like looking up my family. I don't want that at all. It's like you, I don't. Maybe you can like have like a an alias, but like it's all linked to your your Facebook account. Which when you have a Facebook account, you have to have it like. Don't they like make you verify it now that it's like actually you and shit like that? I don't know. I'm Facebook was cool at first. MySpace still reigns supreme. I don't give a fuck what Mark Zuckerberg and all them tried to do when they were like, oh yeah, Facebook is for college kids. It's exclusive and cool. And it made us kind of be like, oh, I want to be a part of that. No, fuck. We should all have been like, no, that's garbage. MySpace is where it's at. And it really was. When it comes to those like, like, profile social media accounts i'm not talking like twitter or instagram i feel like those are different than like myspace and facebook but if we're going like myspace versus facebook myspace reigns supreme 100 those were the days
Exactly. Yeah, stupid shit comes down tough on you. Exactly. You're still trying to find, figure out how to add your profile. Song. I know, right? That was the coolest thing. I learned so about so many cool bands from people's profile songs. Or the login screen, the band of the week. One of my favorite bands, Protest the Hero. Well, I found through them. And that honestly, MySpace is what helped them get popular. Getting put on the that weekly weekly front page. Yup, as blood Yep, me too. 100 percent me too. Same thing. Same with that band. And same thing with them. That shit helped them. Like that it, it like helped boost their popularity. Um, I just saw like a video the other day where like Tila Tequila was like the number one artist because of uh, of MySpace. Man, I remember when I was 12 years old and had a crush on Tila Tequila. I remember. Yeah, big, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, two shots left. But then she went on to like try to sell her music on like iTunes and stuff, and it didn't do as well. But then that's when she went on to do all the shows and stuff like that. But uh, but what's up, guys? What's up with everybody? Like I was saying, I uh, I wasn't feeling good, so I slept all day. I was supposed to go to Verizon today. I have. I have till the 27th to go. I have to go in the morning or else I have to pay for a whole nother month of data. So I have to go and return this shit tomorrow. So we might be doing a long stream. We might stream until like 8 a.m. And then I'll like get off maybe like 8.30 and like get off and like drive straight over there and I'll be there right when they open. Because I was going to go this morning, but I just wasn't feeling that good. I was super tired and I just I fell asleep at like 8. I was trying to stay up, and then I just passed out. So I'm going to do that. I Yeah, I know. I have to do it. I have to. Because uh, I owe them 152 right now, but that's, like, including a $35 activation fee. So, with that, like, next month, I'll just have to pay minus $35. Like, the 150 whatever it is. Um... I think it was only 35. I don't know exactly what it is, but somewhere around there is what I'd have to pay next month if I don't go and return it. So I'm gonna go and return it. Um, that shit was a hundred fifty dollar hole. I I I'm just sitting here now thinking about the conversation we were having, Danky, before TwitchCon, where I was like, "Fuck, I'm so worried. It's only 150 gigabytes. Like that's gonna go so quick." I was thinking I'd be like losing like a gigabyte a minute. I barely used like like 10 gigabytes. That weekend and I, I mainly used my phone I mainly used the 5g t-mobile from my phone hey. unlimited that I have that's so weird you can get unlimited data for a phone but like I couldn't get it for that hot spot it was interesting that I got through t-mobile I returned that one because that hot spot that I had bought was from Amazon it was a third-party one and I just brought it to t-mobile to activate it get some some data that one I owe $60 for but that's just on my normal phone bill. Yeah, well, and like, that's the thing is like, even if I knew, like, and I had the experience, like to know like, oh, I don't need that many gigabytes. I was in the mindset of like, I want to have whatever fail safe I can, just in case something goes wrong, I'll have something else there to help me. In the end, the hotspot didn't really help because whenever my phone data wouldn't work and the stream would start effing, the hotspot would barely work too. It, sometimes it would, but for the most part, if T-Mobile, my phone shut shut off with the data, the Verizon hotspot wasn't working either. And I think we learned that that is because there were so many other people streaming at the time, which I, I did a little bit more research, and I'm pretty sure when you go get your data through Unlimited Services, the, the IRL Backpack Gun Run, you get it, uh, they give you the option of getting a... Uh, two or three hotspots and those are covered through Verizon and AT&T. AT&T offers unlimited to anybody. You don't have to have a business account or whatever. And then the Verizon, I'm assuming that since they're like a business themselves, they get the business from Verizon and they get the unlimited data. And I'm assuming that that maybe the business data is somewhat like that corporate data, like the person that worked for Google was telling me. So maybe that's why a lot of their streams don't F as much is because they have like way better data 
plans, like corporate data plans or something like that. And then, like I was saying, Verizon was literally there. They were running the Twitch Rivals area, so they would go live, and I think that would just suck it all up. But more of the story is I did not need these hotspots. It was a waste of fucking money. But going back, I would have done it anyway just in case, you know, just in case things went wrong. But, uh, but yeah, it's just crazy, Denki, how I was so worried. Like, oh, my God, I'm going to go through the data so quick. Barely use 10 gigabytes. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, they def overload their own cell towers plus priority. Yeah, of course they would prioritize themselves. Of course they would. Of course. But, uh... What else? Um, so I gotta go do that in the morning. So we might try to stream until, like I said, we might try to go till like eight in the morning. And but I might end earlier than that because I don't have any food either. I need to go to the grocery store, get some food, or I have some Dino Nuggies that I could throw in the oven. We might be making those at some point on the stream. I do have some Dino Nuggies and a couple like little frozen things, but I don't really want any of that. I want something else, but I don't know what. But, uh, so yeah, we might be doing a real live stream today. Um, what else? We're going to be doing a steak stream soon. I'm going to cook a steak, uh, steaks for me and my grandma. I'm going to be doing that. I'm gonna, I, I'll probably go to the store and buy those today or in the morning tomorrow. Um, so we're going to do that soon. Uh, my grandma helped me sell one of my old cars. Um, so I'm gonna cook us a nice steak dinner. I'm gonna try to make like a brandy like steak sauce too. She gave me a recipe for a brandy steak sauce, so we're gonna try to make that on stream too. That'll be that'll be interesting because I can make the steak no problem. I might fuck up the sauce, who knows? But um, so there's that. I also want to do an IRL stream coming up here where we take Bernie for a walk at, at a park. I'm gonna go to a park that's a little ways away from my house. And it's next to this taco spot that I want to go to, so we'll go uh, walk Bernie at the park, and then we'll uh, we'll go get some tacos after. We're gonna be doing that pretty soon. As it says in the title, now that it is the weather is nice out, it's cold, it's not super hot. If we were to get to 300 subs, I will do a 24-hour uh, camping stream. I have a, a big like stand up. It's like a six to ten person tent. I'll bring uh, all my gear and we'll do a, a full on stream, camping stream. And I'm not gonna tell you the location. I'm not gonna say what. I have it all planned out. But I can tell you this: that the internet will for sure work the entire time, no issues, no issues at all. So if we get to 300 subs. 24 hour IRL camping stream. Yep, camping. Yeah, ramen. Yep. And then um, if we get to 400 subs, we're going to do a rec room. Which, for those that don't know what a rec room is, we saw like a little clip of Tayanji doing one the other day where she like threw that bottle at the wall and it got stuck in the wall in that crazy position. But we didn't get to see her actually wreck anything. But uh, what, what it's going to be is I'm going to have like a old printers. I have an old desk. I have like a, an old TV. Um, a bunch of old electronics and pieces of furniture that I'm going to be taking baseball bats and axes to. I think, I think that'll be a really fun experience. And you know what? I'm going to like get a mount for it for my phone or something. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I'll have to figure it out. I don't know exactly what I want to do, but I'm going to get some kind of a mount for my phone or the ca whatever camera I'm using. So it's like strapped on my shoulder or my chest. So you guys get me like actually hitting this stuff. And I might have an alternate angle as well, like a separate camera angle too. Yeah, I could totally do that because I could go live from my Discord on my alt account, have that on my phone, have that strapped right here. And then I could also have my computer set up out there so we could get the angle from my webcam. So we could have an up close angle of me hitting shit. We could have the, the back angle. But uh, 
the reason why that one is set at 400 is because I want to go to like Goodwill and Savers and I want to buy some extra stuff because I have quite a few things to destroy but I want to get like some other like big stuff so there's gonna be a little bit of a budget that goes into that um, but I think I think those are some fun fun sub goals um, who knows maybe I was more into this but at 500 subs maybe I'll shave my hair off on stream but I've I've been digging my hair lately so I don't know we might just keep it ever since my haircut where I like cut it to like here I, I've been liking it a lot do I have a bat? I do. I do have a bat. Actually, the bat that I have is kind of fucked up, so I'll need to buy a new one. I'll need to buy a new one. I used to have, like, a metal bat that I, I had from when I was a kid when I played baseball for a season. I brought that on tour with me because I used to sleep in the tour van whenever we would, like, stay at somebody's house or and it was in a sketchy area. I would volunteer to sleep in the van with all the gear. And I would just sleep there cuddled with my bat. Somebody stole it, though. It either fell out of the van or somebody stole it. And I'm pretty sure somebody just stole it. Because it was like after that tour, it was gone. Fuck rec rooms? Uh-oh. Well, mine isn't going to be at an actual rec room. It's going to be in my backyard. Because I, I looked into prices for rec rooms. And, like, I could do it. Like, I could afford to go. Especially if we got to 400 subs. Like, I could afford to go pay for it but i think it would be more fun to do it in my backyard and it would be easier for me to stream it i could for sure stream it like i could set up my computer to where it's like at a window facing in my backyard and i won't cut out but whereas if i go to an actual rec room stream it from my phone it could be f city we don't know so yeah i'll, I'll be doing it from my my home but like i said with the camping stream i don't want to give too much away and I think some of you, I think I have given it away before and some of you already know. But the camping stream, like I said, it for sure will not F. It'll be perfect the entire 24 hours. Yeah, that's, ex that's what it's going to be. But you know, my neighbors, they burn their trash so they can shut the fuck up. <laughs> they burn their trash and their backyard and their front yard is just filled with like garbage. It's like, it looks like a hoarder house at this point and what they did because like I, I maybe it was because sometimes we'd like look over and like see like how fucking dirty it was they literally have like sheets and like blankets that they've like hung up in their backyard so we like literally can't see back there it's crazy it makes me worried i worry like about they have two kids i, I like worry about what could be going on in there. like what if it's one of those houses like they have somebody like captive or something like that it is a huge fire hazard, 100%. Look like a tornado. That's exactly what it looks like. A tornado that hit like 20 years ago that they never cleaned up. But it's a total fire hazard. And we, like, we've had like rat problems before and it like totally comes from them. 100%. But we got rid of that. Like, but I remember I told you guys there was that like dead rat like right out in my backyard. We have this like little like awning thing. With all these like two by fours separating it so sunlight could come through there was one but like the sun doesn't come through anymore because we put these like roofs on top of it we got sick of like all the leaves coming down so it was like stuck this big fat rat was stuck in between two two by fours and it had like died there and it was just like hanging i don't know how it even got stuck there it made me think like somebody like placed it there like and it was kind of weird and then bright said that he did it and i was like maybe he did <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think those are some fun sub goals. I think those could be really fun to do. Hopefully we could get up there. We hit 200 again. Who knows? We might at any moment tonight, tomorrow, we could just drop like 70 fucking subs. Like it happens sometimes, but I don't think there was any time like recently where we've gotten that many subs in a night. So I think sub drop should be minimal. Maybe. I don't know. It's scary to think about, but we're back at 200 for the first time in a few months and it feels fucking great. Um, it really does it you don't know how much being at 200 subs like makes me feel good about doing this like regardless i'm gonna keep doing this and i'm gonna be here till it till the ship sinks and i'm gonna go down with it but uh being at 200 subs makes me feel so much fucking better so much better about 
being able to do this every day and not like start feeling like fuck I gotta go to a job and start feeling really shitty about myself and like oh no and just not shitty but just like scared about life um, so that's cool uh, what else was I gonna talk about um, clips I'm clips are coming back soon the other day, I did what I really wanted to do, and I went through all the TwitchCon streams, and I clipped them, and I highlighted some of the old streams. Since then, I haven't done it again. I've just been feeling real lazy ever since getting back from TwitchCon. We took that huge break from doing clips over September for my recovery. Then I was, like, super busy before TwitchCon, just, like, getting everything together. And since getting back, I've just been, like, in chill mode. We stream, and then I end stream, and I, like, max chill. I'm not in like in uh, industrial conveyor belt mode where I'm like end stream and I'm like editing clips, posting them, going and highlighting, uploading those to YouTube. I'm like, I'm max chilling right now. I'll get back into it. I will. Because I, I just, it makes me feel good when I'm like posting clips every day. I feel good about myself. And uh, I just haven't wanted to go and look at any clips. There have been a lot of really good ones, but like just the idea of going through clips and picking which ones, I just haven't wanted to do it. And I need to go through and clip a bunch of moments because there's a bunch of really good moments that have happened on stream recently that I just have not clipped. And I need to get in the habit of every time that happens, if somebody else doesn't do it in chat, me just go exclamation mark clip and do it myself because that would save me so much fucking time. So much time. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get back to the clip industrial complex soon. Um, what else? What else? Uh, oh, HelloFresh. I have to activate this sponsorship tomorrow, but then I think I have like seven days to complete it. I'm going to order a box myself, so when we do the stream, I can cook it for you guys and show you. And while I order it, I'm going to test out because with my code, you get 65% off. Here, let me let me pull it up again because this shit is just too crazy. Hold on. Let, let's see if the price changed again. Because um, like, like I said, the first day, those like six recipes for two people was like $37 with my code. And then it moved up to like 41 or something like a day later. It wasn't that much crazy of a price increase. Let's see if it went up even more. But there's also on top of that deal, when you go to the website, there's like a whole other deal too. And I'm assuming you could stack them. So, but here, let me, let me pull this up. But that's what I'm going to test. When I, when I buy my own box, I'm going to see if I can stack the two deals. Like my deal and then the deal that they offer on the website. I'm not gonna show you guys the website, so I can't look at, I'm not looking at chat right now, it's covering my whole screen, but I don't wanna show you the website. Um, oh my God, it went down in price, oh my God. This is so crazy. This is so crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna show you because I don't want you guys to get the code before I actually start the, the sponsorship. But right now, through my deal, six recipes for a family of two, meat and veggies, is $35.66. No shipping, like free shipping. You're saving $101. That's fucking insane. That like I I'm I'm not out here faking this. Like it's this isn't a raid Shadow Legends like guys, raid Shadow Legends. Like this seems like a really good deal to me. And then say you switch it to a family of 4 instead of 2, it goes up to $67. You're saving $191. That's fucking crazy. And like I said, you can also switch it to where it's just veggies. Or there's a family-friendly option. Or a fit and wholesome. Escatarian. Quick and easy. But on top of that, like I said, there's, like, when you go to the website, at the top, there's this other coupon code that says get 35 free meals across five boxes, plus the first box ships free, plus three surprise gifts. So I'm just like... I I'm hoping that they let you stack both. I, I would assume that they wouldn't like bring you to this website with my code and then be like, oh, but there's this other one you can choose instead. Fuck that one that brought you here. You can choose this other one. Hopefully you can stack them, but that's what I'm going to test. When I buy my box, I'm going to test it out and we'll see. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah, is it, Danky? Yo, if you are interested, I don't know if you have already, but I made a post about it in the Discord right here. Um. Oh, here, you can't see it. I made a post in the Discord. If you're interested, hit this React, the dab. Just hit that so I can kind of gauge how many people want it. Um, and uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to be activating the sponsorship and then really thinking about like what day we're going to do the, the cooking stream. It'll actually just depend on when my uh, when the box I order shows up. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a life-changing sponsorship for me. Even if we don't like hit the max goal, even if I just got like eight of you guys to sign up, it would like really change shit for me right now. It would, I would be not as worried. What up, King Shadow? How you doing? We're just going over uh, personal news. I'm talking about some uh, housekeeping stuff. The sub goals that we have the possible sponsorship that we're gonna do and like I was saying some of you guys might hear the HelloFresh sponsorship some of you may be younger like you may have parents or family members that cook for you that take care of that let them know that they could get six meals that feed two people for like $35 or whatever or 37 whatever it just I just said to you guys and then you could switch it up to a family of four instead of just a family of two and it's only $67 for six meals that's crazy. Like, that's crazy. Now, how good is the food? I don't know. I've never had HelloFresh before, but Ramen told me that it's good. That it's, like, a good deal. And uh, I wasn't thinking about doing the sponsorship, but then Ramen opened my eyes, and she was like, yo, like, there's, like, people, like, kids with, like, parents that might want that and stuff like that. And it really got me back into that mindset. I talked about it yesterday of when those companies would come to your elementary school the franchises or, or, or whatever and they would like tell you to sell their catalogs like to your neighbors and shit like that and you would get like prizes for how much stuff you sold at school that's what I feel like right now I'm, I'm about to start going door to door and just be like handing them a flyer with my code and be like go to this website sign up I might do that though oh my I might actually fucking do that I might do that is that allowed <laughs> am I allowed to do that I think I, I'm sure that's allowed right I'll literally just print off some flyers and go put them in people's mailboxes. Say we did that and I just like fucking, I didn't even need you guys. Like, and we just like hit the goal. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that could be a really, uh, a life changing sponsorship for me, especially if we hit the max goal. The max goal is something that like, I, I don't even think we would hit, but if we did, I will be making a trip, uh, two trips. I don't know where the second one will be, but if if I were to get that, I will be buying an IRL backpack and we will be going to like first LA, I'll be getting like a hotel somewhere, we'll be going to the beach, we'll be doing like a weekend in LA. Um, maybe I'll save it for like a weekend when there's a show I wanna go to, oh my God! Oh fuck. Woo! Blah's coming in with the 100 bitties. Thank you, bro. Holy shit. You scared me a little bit. Like you always do. Boz, thank you for that 100 bitties. I wish the sound alerts would show up in my, uh, in my stream labs thing. I wish they would fix that to where it would show up. Because at the end of stream, I always thank, like, everything before I end. But then I can't ever thank the sound alerts again. But I always try to be like, oh, I think Claus came with some sound alerts tonight. I always try to remember that. But I wish they were labeled there. Me scare you? Never. Yeah. Not some of my favorite Instagram clips of you scaring me. That, th those don't exist. Those don't exist. During Resident Evil and other games. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, I know it does here. It does here, but it doesn't like on like my Streamlabs thing that shows me all the alerts, which that's what I use to like keep track of everything. Um. Oh, he, oh, it is in my heart, and I, I remember it forever. Oh, you had a a tiring day at school. I'm sorry, King Shadow. Hopefully, we can help you relax a little bit, man. Um. What was I just talking about? Right, what was I saying right as uh, Claus came in with that? Was I talking about the HelloFresh sponsorship still? It's a really good deal. 
and it could change my fucking life. I oh oh what I was saying is if we get it and I say I were to actually hit the full goal of what they're offering me, like hit the max amount of subscriptions, I will buy an IRL backpack. I'm going to get a hotel in LA. We're gonna go out there for a weekend. We're going to then I'll figure out some other place I want to go to. Maybe we'll go to New York. Um, yeah, the, yeah. If we do, yeah, the HelloFresh will be a, a kitchen stream, and actually, it won't be a normal kitchen stream where I use my phone. I'm gonna move my whole computer into my kitchen, and it'll be like so. All the normal alerts will be there. It'll look just like this. It'll just be full screen. You come in with sound alerts. It'll show up. We'll hear it and everything. I'll have speakers set up out there, um, and I'll be cooking my own HelloFresh box. And so, Claus, just real quick, I don't know if you were listening to earlier when I described it, but, uh, I won't, or can I pull it back up? Will it come back up? Oh my god. Oh, good thing I'm full screen. Um, okay, yeah, you guys can't see that at all. Okay, so yeah, just to break it down again, you get 65% off with my, my HelloFresh code. Say you have a family of two and you want six meals, it's only $35. It's $101 off. And then say you want to switch that to a family of four, six meals, $67, $191 off. And then like I also said, I don't know if they'll allow you to combine both offers, but I think they would since they're offering it on my subscription page. Get 35 free meals across five boxes plus first box ships free plus three surprise gifts. So, that's crazy. I think I think that that deal would probably lock you into some kind of subscription thing, but I think if you just use my code, I think you just buy the you can just do it that one one time. That's actually a good question. But I think when you like say you get the the family of 2 6 meals for $35, I think that's it. And you can continue you can choose to continue if you want, and it'll probably go up in price the next month. But uh but you could probably also cancel it if you wanted to and not go for the second month. Um, but yeah, and then I, I'm assuming, yeah, I don't know, this box, the 18 free meals or whatever this is, I don't know. I, I'm assuming they would allow you to combine that deal with my deal. Um, so yeah, that is going to be happening sometime within the next week. I just got to, I actually have to put in my order for the HelloFresh box. Cook the meal. Imagine you were playing a scary game and a jump scare pops up at the same. Oh, that that has literally happened pretty much. Or like I don't know if actually I don't know if that has happened where it happened at the same time, but pretty much like there was like times when we were playing Resident Evil Seven and Claus was like right there with the fucking the sound alerts at the right time or at a time when the game was kind of like chilled out and he would scare the fuck out of me. Dude. Um, but that's a good question, Claus. I'm gonna when, once I buy my box, I'll let you guys know if it's like signs you up for monthly or if it's just like a one month thing. I'll let you know, and I'll let you know if you can combine those two deals. Cause that would be super lame if they like sent you to the website with my deal and then they're like, oh, but there's this other deal that you could choose instead. You can't combine. That would be dumb. I'd imagine they're letting you combine them. Today you walked out of school and blasted Material Girl. Material Girl. That's what's up. Combining the, uh, but yeah, see, I don't know why they would do that though. Well, I, like when you go to my, like literally the link that I'm going to is my subscription link that I would send you guys. And it's like literally right there. It's like, oh, and plus this deal. So I just, I, I wouldn't imagine them being like, oh yeah, do this deal instead. That, that would just be like totally counterintuitive to the whole subscription, like the sponsorship they're having me do. Um, Nice, dude. Yeah. So, like I was saying, we're gonna be doing that soon. Um, but uh, that's really all I have for personal news. Like I said, the sub goals should be really fun. Hopefully, we can get up there. Um, like I said, 300. We're gonna do a 24 IRL camping stream, and this stream will for sure not f. Like I 100%, it will be perfect the whole 24 hours. Um, and then if we get to 400 subs, we're gonna do a backyard rec room where I destroy a bunch of uh, old electronics and pieces of furniture. 
Um, and that stream won't F either, because it'll be in my backyard. Um, yeah, that's about it. We talked about everything. Anything, anything else with you guys before we uh, get into watching some videos? They just added it randomly. And, oh, but wait, did they like? They didn't like sign you up for it, right? They just gave you like a little ad for it. And out, yo, that on Steam? Are you talking about on Steam? Yeah, cause I get randomly too. Like sometimes there will be like a phasmophobia update, and it'll be like, here you go. Yeah, on Steam. Yeah, yeah, I have that happen all. I just had that happen with phasmophobia the other day. It's like I don't even play that game. They get a gift card for it. That's cool. Yo, dude, what if you could, like, use my deal plus the gift card? I doubt they would let that happen. I doubt that. But, um, but yeah, okay. If you are interested in the HelloFresh thing, before we move on, go to the Discord. Go to the announcements and hit this React right here. Only hit it, though, if you're, like, sure you'd want to do it. Like I said, six meals for a family of two. $35. Change it to a family of four, $67. It's you get 65% off. It's fucking crazy. This is not me like being like Raid Shadow Legends, everybody sign up. No, this is like a really good deal. You eat like a family. There you there you go. $67 for six meals. That's a really good fucking price. That's crazy. If you're if you're an adult. And you go shopping for meals and things like that, that you will know that this is a very good deal. And that's why I instantly was like, oh, I want to do this. <laughs> I think I'm selling a product that I think would benefit my audience. Just don't eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Um, but okay. I think, uh, I think that's about it. Any other personal news with you guys? Anything go on with your guys' day? Anything go on with you guys you want to share? Because if not, we'll get right into just uh, watching some uh, some vidges. We'll start off with some live stream fail stuff. I want to play some Overwatch today like we did the other night. I really want to play a lot of Overwatch. If Cody comes around, we'll play some more 7 Days to Die. I have to create a landscape design for a random house for a class and it's cringe. What are you? Is it an architecture class? Wait. Wait a minute. Are you are you the one that's studying agriculture? I forget. There's somebody in chat that's studying agriculture. Horticulture. Okay, the, okay, yeah, it's you. Okay, it is you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Up in Canada, right? There's somebody else up in Canada that's studying something else. I forget. Okay. Yeah, okay, cool. I remember. Cool, cool. Yeah, that's cool, man. But yeah, that cr kind of cringe way. Why is it cringe? Cause so that would, uh... Get the cr oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, landscape design. For yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, that's right. Sorry, I forgot. You're the only person in Canada. My bad. You tried an avocado matcha smoothie today? Ooh, very healthy. I don't know. I love avocado. I love avocado, but I don't know if I'd want it in my smoothie. When I eat avocado, I usually like it like mixed in with the uh, like pico de gallo lime, so it's guacamole, or or like even just like avocado toast where you put like salt on it, some hot sauce or whatever. But just mixing it in with the smoothie, I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. It was good. Oh, King. Later, man. Sorry, I didn't see that till just now. Have a good night, King. Thanks for stopping in. They have 20K for five years. And I have to plan out the landscaping and plant choice for color, height, texture. Color? For color? What does the color have to do with that? I'm not like question, like not trying to be like, that is dumb, but I just want to know. Is that the part that's cringe? <laughs> I tried it for the culture. I know there's a Vietnamese avocado smoothie with sweetened condensed. What, so, what, did you like it? Like you said, very healthy, but that doesn't always mean it tastes really good. 
th see, that makes sense, Andrew. All this stuff you're saying, like, that you ha would have to do all that stuff. But yeah, the color part is what threw me off. Wait, re yeah, see, that's, okay, that part is cringe. That part is cringe. I understand all the other stuff that it makes sense for horticulture, but what does that have to do with anything? What, what, <laughs> are you an interior designer now or an exterior designer as well? You want to try it without matcha? But it seems like matcha would be the thing that would make it taste good. What the fuck? Are you... You're just an exterior designer at this point, Andrew. Yeah, that is fucking annoying and cringe. You're just like, oh, I have to make sure the flowers are color-coded. What? No. What farmer does that? <laughs> what? <laughs> You know what? I could imagine if you were growing like a bunch of flowers like to sell like roses and tulips. Maybe you'd color code them. It would look nice. But. My teacher's like, that's 20% of your grade. What the fuck? Um, but it tasted creamy. Needed to be a bit sweeter. Oh, so do you think that the... Well, see, that's what I was saying. I think that the avocado would make it really creamy. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I would want that. Avocado, like, by itself, just sometimes, like, eat, if I was ever eating an av just straight avocado, I used to do that on tour. I would, uh, instead of going and getting fast food, I would go to a grocery store, and I would buy a whole avocado and some, like, fruit and stuff like that, other fruits and things, and I would just peel or open the avocado, get some Cholula hot sauce, and just pour it on there and scoop it out with a spoon. Um, so, like, but I needed the hot sauce. I couldn't just eat it by itself. But matcha by itself can be bitter. Okay, yeah, I guess I've only had, like, I've had matcha ice cream and stuff like that. I think I've had matcha tea before. So I've drawn up a plan and got the budget ready. Well, I if hey, if you got, if you want to share anything, share it in the Discord. I'll look at it. But you don't have to. I'm just saying if you wanted to. Ooh, yeah, Boonie, we did. So last night we were at, like, 197. And then Bent came in with a five spot and got us up there after like Hippie and other people had come in with a bunch of subs. Um, and then we dropped back down to like 197 or something like that again. We lost five subs and then Ramen came in with three. Oh, you're buffering? We're good on my end. We're good over here. We haven't dropped any frames. The stream's running fine. Hopefully it's just something on your end. Hopefully it's not my end. No, Ramen. Cholula over Tapatio always. Tapatio just... It lacks a depth of flavor. It's just that one, like, bitter... It's, like, bitter. I don't like it. Like, how you just describe bitter, I don't... Tapatio's, like, bitter to me. Cholula, though, has that spice, but then depth of flavor. Way better. And the... Uh, like, I... Uh, the... The image on the front, the girl on the front, it just it just makes it even better. They go on different things for sure. Okay, all right. You got to hit me with this. All right. No, one is better than the other. Objectively, and in the marketplace of ideas, you are wrong. Cholula is more sour for sure. Yeah, yeah, Oh, you don't think you can share it? No worries. No worries, Andrew. You feeling? Oh yeah, there's plenty of days. Uh, honestly, I feel like ever since COVID or before COVID, I uh, I I just put on the jacket sometimes, and sometimes I don't have it on. But now that it's getting winter and it's getting cold, I'll probably be wearing it all the time, or I'll be like wearing my OTK jacket or something like that. But uh. Yeah, I just got, I don't know. I just wanted to take the, the jacket off. Felt like a new era. Season two. We don't always wear the jacket. Sometimes we take the hat off. With the hat, it's just so easy, though. I don't ever have to make sure my hair looks nice. I can just wake up, tie my hair back, and, and fucking go. But uh, we've done some streams without the, without the, the hat. Had the hair flowing.
He had no pants. Can't wait. Oh, seasons. Whoop. Come in season six. I'll be coming is what will happen. I'll just be straight up coming on stream. Um. Oh, thank you, Andrew. I appreciate that. Um. All right, should we get into some videos? We're a fucking hour in. We've just been talking. We've just been talking. We haven't done anything. You Oh, good. Well, you know what? It can be like a, a communal coming. We could all do it together at one time. And I'll do the Asmongold challenge at the same time. We'll just talk about it in the Discord. And then we'll all let everybody, like, on stream, it'll be a secret. But in the Discord, we'll all know what's going on. Communal, exactly. I may, you may miss that. Okay, no worries. It's, it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. <laughs> it's not for everybody. Okay, I'm about to get banned. I'm about to get banned. Quinn69 got banned for showing actual come on stream <laughs> just yesterday. <laughs> and I'm sitting here talking about it. And his was just in a Channel 5 video. I'm like, actually, out here, like, yeah, we're going to communal come. <laughs> communal. Pre-bans in a. But no, that Channel 5 stream that I had where we watched that video, it's gone now. Like I said, I unpublished that shit. Not, not up anymore. It's just condition. Yo, you, yeah, it does. Yeah, conditioner. Yeah. Little game. Oh God. Oh God. The Bukaki. Oh no. Wait, no. Isn't there another name for that? No, it's just Bukaki. Okay, never mind. Anyway, anyway, let's let's move on. Let's move on. Um, any other personal news, real quick? Uh, oh shit. My bad, Dink. I didn't even see your your last message before uh, the money shot. <laughs> L. Uh, Yucateco is the best. Oh, for as a, a hot sauce? I've never even heard of that. I'll have to check that out. Sorry, I missed that for a few minutes. My bad. Just scrolling through. Making sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I saw what Ramen said about Cholula being sour. Okay. It's habanero. You want I like habanero. I, I'm down with habanero, especially. I don't know if you're saying that because like my stomach issues, but I don't really have IBS anymore. Ever since uh, my surgery, I have not had any like lower bowel pain at all. It's crazy. So like I'm I, I'm thinking about doing like a, a hot chip challenge. With when salt on dickhead. Soup, you came in right at the right time. Soup, we were just talking about doing a a, a communal together. Uh, anyway, well, we're moving on from that. Soup, how are you doing? Thank you for the bitty. Um, just pour some water on it. Just pour some water on it. It'll be okay. Um, what I'm going to say... Uh, oh, yeah. I need to try Booney's hot sauce. In a, have you learned who Dave Goggins... No. Dave Goggins on these nuts is what it is. I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, let's see. Bro, I'm not Googling it. I'm I, I'm good. I'm good on it. I'm good. I don't care who it is. <laughs> um, yeah, no more hot girl tummy. Yep. You can't actually think it's not a real person. I just don't care. I don't care. I don't care who it is. Um... I'm not Googling it. I'm, it's going to be a picture of some fucking testicles or something. I know it. Walton Goggins. Goggins on these nuts. That's, that's every time I see it. I feel like you guys are trying to get me. True. Oh, my God. Pwn, why? Why do you have to bring this up, Andrew? Now Pwn's here. And he's oh my. Dave Goggins on these nuts, okay? Can't believe they banned doctor for stupid young guy no i'm not talking and, oh it's an underrated actor the walton goggins okay yeah he fucked my ass up no, <sighs> damn it pone inside my double cup. yeah the, no and you just brought it up pone he just brought it up yeah i remember you guys said that last time but it's like i just i don't know who that is i'm and why would i <laughs> why would i um onus i'm about to jerk off and i really don't don't know why. Yeah, I um, yeah, okay, let's watch some stuff. Guy. We've been talking for an hour. One of my favorite things to do is just talk to you guys. Well, let's let's get into let's get into this. Unless, if, of course, if you guys have more personal news you want to share, keep going. But.
You know what Get I'm saying? Into watching some stuff. Now. I'm telling you, like, you can call me delusional, call me crazy. But some of the I'm things playing. he says or says, this are they? I mean, that's how it is with this most motivational camera. speakers. You got uh, any motivational speaker, self-help guy, you got to kind of take with a grain of salt. Because it's they're only a few steps away from telling you some like right wing uh, conservative talking points in the mix of, oh, yes, you just need to learn to clean your room, young men. I have this book. It's called 12 Steps for Living, and it will teach you to clean your room and avoid the dragon of chaos, which is women, because women are bad. That's that's Jordan Peterson. Yeah. Um, no f- bullshit. <laughs> dragon? Yeah, dragon on these nuts? The, 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 the clip on Pokestream. Of the got him, stream, Booney. Got prove that. You know what I'm saying? It's like... Stop doing that to JP. In my opinion, this is my it's opinion. a dragon of if chaos. Consistent will consume your life. It just being a gambling thing, right? Why the? F- okay, what the f- fuck is Trainwreck saying? I'm telling you, like, had to do with man. had nothing to do with gambling, and it had to. Do- oh, we saw this clip. Yeah, wait, what? Is this the one we watched yesterday? No, this is from today. Real loud. You know what I'm saying? I'm so he's saying that Twitch banning gambling had nothing to do with gambling and everything to do with him possibly a little bit like like we said that that day that they banned gambling was like hours after he gave a twitch staff fifty thousand dollars in bitcoin huge conflict of interest and it's against amazon like code of conduct like as an employee of amazon you're not allowed to like take gifts like that and so hours later they were like shut down done but like i also said the reason they got rid of that and they didn't get rid of other methods of gambling is because the crypto gambling was illegal and anybody could sign up for it in any state, regardless of whether it was legal there or not. And then if you won or you lost, you were not going to get paid out anything and you were getting scammed. That's like how it worked. So Twitch had to get rid of that. But uh, this is just train wrecks, just trying to make everything about him. He's got the chip on his shoulder. Everyone's out to get him. You know, it's, it's just, that's train wrecks. Telling you like, you can call me delusional. Damn, but good for crazy. losing money, right? I, hey, train wrecks made... 360 million he made 360 million i'm telling you yeah train wrecks on that zaza sorry i didn't mean to make coco upset poem bullshit and i think my post about the three nurse or the the the, the clip on poke stream train got enough money he can write yeah he can just cry you know what i'm saying but i've watched a little bit of train streams the past few days and him being back to gaming has been really nice it's like if all of but your arguments are consistent, in it's my still opinion, train wrecks. In my opinion, but if all your arguments are consistent, I don't know. It's just with I don't know. it just being a gambling thing, right? Why the f- does what I make like that one I- clip we saw when Hassan the, during the whole like leaked phone call where train wrecks was yelling at that kid in Rust about scrap? Like that shit is fucking hilarious, and like that's it, I just wish train wrecks was like that all the time instead of this like vindictive. Everyone's out to get me. I got a chip on my shoulder. Like, Contractor, whatever the. F- what is that? Not what fun. is the price of it? Dude, you know what I'm Don't saying? dox my dog. Oh, my bad. <laughs> like, my I bad. understand the shock of it, but to like suddenly like. Um, did I miss anything? Di- it's just super weird to me. Super, super weird. Especially when sports betting. Oh, is bet. Okay. From the shield and justified. A times more prevalent Sorry, I missed that. Youth. I, I don't know that show. Saved him from an armed robbery attempt. Um, they didn't know we were together. So a guy walked Train is an alien. He had like really nice shoes on. That's Ant saw his shoes. I didn't see it. He had like Jordans on, like really, like. What like, was this really clip? What it, what was the context? Aiden security saved him from an armed robbery attempt. Aiden Ross had almost got robbed. And they didn't know we were together. So a guy walked in who faked being homeless, and he had like really nice shoes on. That's Aunt, Aunt saw his shoes. I didn't see it. He had like Jordans on, like really, like brand new Jordans. But he faked homeless, and he walked inside and he asked for a water cup and he left. It was a two man job. And then another, another guy came with a backpack, and he had a strap in the backpack. Anyways, I got my order. I walked outside. As soon as I walked outside. The guy with the backpack, it's like I walked out, he went like this, right behind me, and was reaching his bag. And Ant pulled out his gun like this, and Will, they had their guns out already. And then, and, and then like, the guy just, yeah, bro, it was bad. Like, I actually almost got, like, like arm robbed, like, right outside of the wing stop. Was what the insane. fuck? Did I see you with security? He didn't know I was with What, him. do these people think, like, a Twitch streamer is just, like, carrying around all their money that they made that day from the subs? They didn't know I was with him because they were across. They're like, he's doing an IRL stream right now. I bet he has all the money in his pocket. For me. It looked like they weren't Yo, with me. Amazing security. And pre that he has on already. 
Yeah, like the lady who said the racist remarks towards Kai finds his stream to see what he looks like and doesn't realize that she's literally in the call with Blaming him. Blaming my Discord like- Wait, there was somebody that said racist shit to him? When he looks like a f troll, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Ooh. I'm gonna look him up right now. It is, he said it was- I don't know anything well, about this. Right now. Is this the girl? Because there was a girl on his stream the other day that said the F slur, but- I, did, I didn't hear anything else about her being racist to him. She was just TV being a bigot Kai toward and the I'm LGBTQ gonna be with you, community. I, to, like, I don't even care who the f*** is in my group right now. I just want to play. Hold on. The lore of Lamont. What? I'm so confused. Kai... Sanat. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm done. Like, I don't even care who the f*** is in my group right now. I just want to play. Hold on. The lore of Lamont. Okay, uh, who cares? E-Rob playing Minecraft? See, okay, when we play Minecraft, like, I want to get into doing this kind of shit. Like, uh, we got to do that. We got to we gotta set a time for Minecraft sometime soon. I'm just so invested in seven days to die. Zoop, you're going to be in it. Like, I, it's going to be at a time when you can be there because you had the, the plan. You were like, oh, we're going to do this. And then Danky, too. Danky was like, oh, we'll go do some dungeon runs and stuff like that. Like, Serious? Cause me and Ramen can like sit there and like have an hour of like fun of us just like laughing together, but then at some point like I like we gotta like start doing some shit. And uh, I just don't know enough about Minecraft to do anything in the game other than go and chop down some trees and terraform. Yeah, we don't have to go beat the game. I know that's like the Ender Dragon or whatever, but I just want to go and like get into like doing activities, working toward that or whatever. Like we we gotta do. But yeah, it'll be it. We'll oh, we'll God. set it up at it when it's so it's at a time when Zoop you can be there and stuff like that. We'll do it on like a Friday, Saturday. Hassan, pre-watch again. Spell, bro, is he about to say that it was like a Jewish we'll also, sound engineer that? At some point, point we'll something? like we'll, we'll play it soon. Cause I'm gonna f lose it. it. Wrong. I have a tendency to do that. I'm not quite John Legend. We can type speed run it in like 30 minutes. I don't want to speed run it. That would be fun though. Level. So. I feel a parallel. God, it was just so crazy that Hassan, or not Hassan, that Kanye was able to make Lex Friedman look like he was like a, a normal dude. Me going to Timberland. And not a guy, like, like just the other day, Lex Friedman was literally talking about how like, if my podcast was around in the 1940s, I would have gladly interviewed Hitler so we could like understand where he was coming from. It's like, bruh. <laughs> and, but then a couple days later, he has Kanye on and makes him look normal. To when I said, hey, you as an engineer, I need to work with you as an engineer that is Jewish to <sighs> look at these contracts Stop! and what my people, not just black. Taller one has yeah, eight dude, That interview was insane. You T1. <laughs> He literally is. He is like literally like I described the other day about uh, Kanye West, like these people that are dumb but try to act smart. That's literally him. He's like even in that interview, he was so like when Kanye said he didn't trust him, he was just like, "You don't trust me, bro." <laughs> it was so weird. Straight up, fuck you, T1. Thanks for that three dollars. Yeah, I think it's just the way he talks, and because he's wearing a suit, a lot of people are just like, like fucking brainwashed into thinking he's an intellectual in some kind of a way, but. I am a hate watcher. Yeah, very boring I questions with, yeah, sometimes good guests for sure. And losing in real life. It is hilarious. Oh, he had some chess episodes? You okay. so hard at anything that's not League. Also hilarious. It, I mean, there's a re I've said this a lot. There's a reason why we're all Twitch streamers. Most hilarious. We're not meant to Rock. be doctors, any, any of that stuff. We're, we're here for a reason. Head. Peace. Exactly, thank you. Yeah, his name's straight up. He, he would. Damn, that is hate in his heart. Lyric has a feeling. Alex Botez was on the Lex Friedman podcast? What the fuck? I feel like I'm gonna go up into Who's, the sky who, and just get who is, by this. Who is uh, Alex Botez's manager? Oh, exactly. Who's her agent? <laughs> and what kind of content does that person consume? You're like a hot air balloon who's got the biggest butt uh, ammo in a there based andrew butt. based based yeah the bigger butt who has bigger bigger culo, culo. bigger uh, culo. Culo. yeah yeah grande culo <laughs> oh that's yeah 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 Between i feel that him, yeah. i get that bet 
Who's cool? Who's cool? Grande. More grande. Yeah. Yeah. Mas grande. Mine. In the... Him? Cool grande. Because he's literally like one Mine. of those podcasters, yeah, like Lex Friedman, that like literally will just like heck talk about normal stuff, self help stuff, even stuff like that. But then it'll be like right wing talking points out of nowhere. I would love to have Hitler on my Same. podcast, like shit like that. Really? Like, what no, the no, fuck, no. bro? <laughs> and the pillow reads a message from Chad. I hope that Chatter gets a real medical issue like cancer and sees how great their insurance is. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, that's interesting because if you have health insurance in America, you're you're fine. Like your your healthcare will usually be good, except for the fact. Ooh, what up, Bodie? What's up, dude? Um, thank you for the biddy. But uh, like your healthcare will be good, except for the fact that you're gonna have to pay premiums and deductibles on top of the all like the monthly bill that you pay. So that sucks. But like when it comes to the actual healthcare, like the healthcare is good. It's just it's the people that don't have healthcare that is the problem. That is the real problem. And the fact that I said there's the premiums and deductibles and all that stuff and how how much prescription medication costs and things like that. But but like if you have health insurance and you get cancer, like you, you're like in America, you're probably gonna be like I mean, depending on how aggressive it is, whatever, but like you the healthcare will be good. <laughs> that noise. This that guy mean? This guy just wished cancer upon someone. Wait, oh shit, yeah, I didn't even realize that. Hello, reads a message from Chad. You're fine, okay. Chatter but... gets a real what up, Bodhi? How you doing tonight, man? And sees how great their insurance is. <laughs> yeah, he literally just said, I hope you get cancer. <laughs> this guy this guy just wished but like there's like like people someone. that are on medicaid which is like uh the health insurance like that i'm on that like if you're below the poverty line and you can't afford health insurance um if i got cancer like i would be completely taken care of like it would just depend on how aggressive like the cancer was because they said that health insurance is easy is is available if you're not lazy that's the that's that's where we went to. And my experience right on Medicaid yeah, over the past the like Tremix five TV years or whatever it's been, be um, and it will be huge. As somebody that has when health I problems and has to constantly go to doctors, it's, whenever that is, whether that's everybody the first should November have Medicaid or the second week of November or the first week of November, nothing should ever cost that alone. Money. Is going to like revolutionize streaming. That alone. What alone is easy? Is what 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 are you doing, Trainrex? His new stream. The Tremix TV says his new streaming platform will be announced soon, and it will be huge. I highly doubt that. I highly doubt he even has announced like a plans to announce anything. When I announced it on Twitter, like through a Twitter video, he has I no plans on doing this. He has no like. There's nothing. He's just talking right now. I guarantee it. Whatever that is, whether that's the first of November or the second week of November or the first week of November. No, it's not. He's not, not doing. Woman. He's not. <laughs> that's why he said maybe it'll be the first, second, or third week, and then it's going to end up being the fourth week, and then is going to like revolutionize streaming. That alone is going to be. It doesn't matter whether you hate me, love me, or neutral with me, don't know me. That motherfucker's going to blow up. Hey. Okay. Like if Trainrex came out with like a new streaming platform that blew everything out of the water, I would join it. But I don't think he has any desire to do this. I think he's just saying this just for uh, farming the clip. And I cannot wait to announce like that single part. I'm doing okay. Anyone who's, How who has you doing? Any doubts, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Having a good night. Like a start of trust. Just uh, so I'm excited for that. Just now getting into the reacts. I don't think the platform is going to be ready the first of November. I think it's gonna, you know, maybe be middle of November, latest early tonight. December, right? Yeah, a little bit. Like I was saying earlier, um, I still like my sinuses and my throat like feel really weird, like just like swollen. But I think it's just allergy symptoms at this point. I don't think I have like a cold or anything. Latest, probably. But uh, I don't feel as bad as I did last November. night. Does your pants have back pockets? Have back pockets. Do they have it makes sense. The weather just started to change. It's like windy as fuck outside right now. Of course, I'm gonna get a bunch of allergies. Pockets? Whoa! Do they? No, I guess not. Ah, boy said it time put ninety on. Mm. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, feel Great free clip. to drop a like. And if you Great want to keep clip. up with the latest news and clips, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Aiden Ross caught looking at his sister. We saw this clip Ooh. yesterday. Open my DMs on stream. Suggest is it TOS? What is the eye tracker thing? Citrus, <laughs> you caught me off guard. Like, you can't do shit like that, Citrus. In his defense, like, he probably initially didn't even realize it was his sister right off the bat, okay? You can't do shit like that, bro. But the eye tracker thing, do I have to, like, buy something for that? Or is that just, like, a program I can install that automatically like, syncs up with my camera or something? Uh, that, that'd be cool. I would love to do that. You need to buy one? Fuck. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see. Let's go to actual live stream fails. Go through there. I wonder where I'm supposed to be. Which dude am I supposed to be? Should I um, let's refresh. Arya Stark, actress of Game of Thrones, uh, started really... Oh, actor... Oh, sorry. Arya Stark, actress, says Game of Thrones started really strong, but definitely fell off at the end. I never watched Game of Thrones. I have no idea. Never got into it. But here, let's hear what she has to say. Oh, wait, where's the volume? Um, it was... What the fuck kind of clip is this? What is, what is this? I've never seen a clip that looks like this before. What is happening? Is this how clips look now? You know what? I rewatched it all recently. Did you? Yeah. That kind of surprises me. Yeah, I fit. What did you think? Um, it was, it definitely fell off at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, what is that? <laughs> but it started really strong. That's really good. strong. So, I was like, I was heartbroken when Ned died, and I knew it was coming, and I was like, because oh, I, I, for the first there. time, I, you know what, I rewatched it all recently. Did you? Okay. Yeah. Oh, bro. oh, is that what it is? Yeah, I fit. Oh, what did you think? Oh, is that um, what Twitch looks was, like on their it end? It definitely fell off at the end. <laughs> Why, why would it show up like that for me on my end though? I don't that's I'm confused here. Let's look at this Henry clip actually Let me click on this No, yeah, see clips normal normal So it's so you agree it did fall off, okay Yo, and you just oh you got the ultimate one. So that's the $14 one, right? I usually get the $9 one, but I get it for a dollar every month. It's fucking the best um, it started strong because uh, it stuck to the book. Season one was so accurate. Okay. 108 and you're... Oh, shit. Um, hold on. I tried to invite her, but she's in a party. There's no way this Last few seasons were rushed and horrible with no source material. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never watched it. Oh, damn, you had exactly enough. Let's go. Oh, so you got it for a dollar too then. Nice, Bodhi. Let's go. So I'm just going to say, I somehow, every single month, I cancel it. And then I get offered it again for a dollar. And I've been doing that for months. There have been a couple months where I forget about it. And then I pay $9 the next month. And then I cancel that. But still, then the next month, I just get offered the dollar. Yeah. This is the fucking outro. Um, but later on, they just did whatever in the show. Okay, yeah, see, like, I watched, like, Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad, Walking Dead, all those shows, but I just never got into to Game of Thrones. I had some friends that were really into it that would watch it, like, every week together and stuff, and I just never got into it. It was a good song. It feels good, man. Yeah, yeah, just wait a couple days exactly, Bodie. Um, okay, let's see. Henry shredding the electric guitar to celebrate becoming a Twitch partner. He wasn't a Twitch partner already? What the fuck? What the hell? Come on, clip. Oh, of course. Of course he's an 80s hair metal dude. Of course. BC Rich guitar. Oh, hitting the arpeggios? Damn. He made everybody wait till he got partner. I'll do the same thing. I'll play guitar, electric guitar on stream if we hit partner. Mm. 
Damn, Henry Rippin, dude! It's like the first time we're not seeing him in a character. He's like actually being himself. Okay, nice, nice. Ooh, let me know what you download, Bodhi. Wait, thought he, wait, a trash dude in like, like, uh, oh, a thrash. So I've read that thrash dude. You thought he was? Ripping though, ripping on the guitar, dude. Nice. For some reason, I saw, I saw trash. <laughs> and I was just like, what? He's trash? Um, uh, Grimoire checks if her pants has back pockets. Grim, you have back pockets, right? Is it Grimoire? Grimoire? Hold on, let me check. Hold Famously, on. girl uh, underwear does not does not have, or not girl, a girl pants. Back I don't know why I said girl underwear. Girl pants do not have uh, pockets. Oh my god. Where would I have back pockets? I don't know. Oh my god. I don't think. Okay, five hours ago, I'm sure this so. clip's fine. Hold on, I'm checking still. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, like the Eddie what Van Halen happened? shit and the, and the, where? uh, what was he where playing the, the Guns N' Roses stuff? Uh -huh. Yeah, where are they? <laughs> Do I have them? I don't know, guys. Can you tell? <laughs> to Whoa. I know, right? I oh my god. Know. Great clip. Great clip. Um, yes, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. You can end it. Yeah, you could literally end it now, Bodhi. You could. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, pause. Still couldn't find him. I'm yeah, still looking. Zoop's like, oh, I was about to say Zoop's about to pause too, but uh, he, he's just got to go to the bathroom. All right, we'll see you shortly. Zoop, did you hear why? Okay, back already. Good. I, I thought you'd be back quick. Um, who is she? Her name is uh, Grimoire. I think G R I M O I R E. Um, I'm definitely gonna be hitting that follow too. But uh. What was I gonna say, Zoop? Uh, did you see why Quinn got banned? Did you? Were you here when I I revealed why he got banned? Oh, it's right here. Quinn sixty nine got banned for showing cum in a Channel Five video. I definitely showed that too. So did Hassan. <laughs> that video is unpublished now. That video is gone. It's not on my Twitch page anymore. Dude, Bodhi, get it. That game is really, really fucking fun. Me and Cody have been having a blast. I'm sure, Cody, you'd be down for you to uh, come into his server. Zoop, pull a Mitch Jones. Exactly. Just go on the door. Just go on your door, uh, Zoop. But here, wait. No, let's hear this. Let's hear this. I just saw Quinn got banned for showing come on stream. I'm a little worried, like, I didn't know you couldn't show cum on stream. <laughs> I'm a little worried. <laughs> Why would you be worried? Unless you watch the Channel 5 video, bro. <laughs> Why? Um, he, I don't know. Yeah, he might have like focused on it. He might have like paused there and like talked about it. Cause when that part came up for me, I instantly like went full cam. I was like, ah, so I, I don't know exactly like the context of like how he watched the video, but cause like Hassan did the same thing. He was constantly going full screen. Um, but like I said earlier during the GTA, no pixel stuff, Hassan was given a warning not to go get lap dances at the, the strip club. Other streamers just got straight up banned for it. So it, there, that exists. That's a, a real thing. You want it? Oh, what up, Fourth? Or Brian's, uh, uh, Brian in as assistant. Um, you want seven days to die? You're, Brian, you're not allowed to play any fucking games with me. Don't fucking talk to me. Do your fucking job. Brian, stop. Stop. Brian, stop. I'm trying to look at fucking live stream fails. Stop, Brian. 
Please, okay? You can play Seven Days to Die with us, please. Thank you. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. Brian's in control. Wait, your PC might be F? Wait, why? What happened? Eris hits a home run, Fallout 4. Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, shit. Those look like the zombies in Seven Days to Die when they jump. <laughs> That's exactly what they look like. Oh man, this game is pretty good, dude. I Why is this can't I don't know. Go in go in his chat and ask him. See what he says. Clip it. Let me know. Um nothing is loading. Oh, do you think it's maybe your internet? Or oh that sucks. I remember didn't you say you were having some RAM issues too? Um, train calls out people who make claims they can't back up. Okay, let's go. Or if I am who they claim I am, right? Everyone's out to get me! If all these things are true, right? You could just say the truth, right? You can say what you know for sure. But as soon as, like, you see these nice, people go into, Bodhi. like, these... I've never these, played like, any of the Fallout that, games like, except for 76. theoreticals or hypotheticals, and there's no, nothing to back it, right? It sounds like it's logic, but it's a perversion of logic, Right? That's being like spoken. Yeah, I saw that. Like yeah, buddy. I that saw that. It like it's, you know, credible. It it's is. Like, it well, is the worst one for sure. To me. But, I mean, the problem is. is the general I mean, public, I haven't I played any of the other ones. The, like social awareness or like the social intelligence to like catch it. But it seems to me like when you have to do that, I, I feel like that's like to anyone that has any social experience or intelligence, like social intelligence. Like, I don't I care. Feel like, I don't like, care. Okay, well, this is. I don't care. Um. Let's see Tyler retelling the story of the scar under his eye. You want to know how I got these scars? The real story is as I was going to my car to, with my gym bag in hand on the gym. King gym train. In one hand, I had my That's right. Blood rush in the other. Hands were full. He was the, the keys, guy we needed had my, had my to tell us all not to gamble. He took the he took that weight of the gambling on his shoulders and didn't influence anybody else to sign up for those crypto earpods and my airpods <laughs> king right? train I was going to the gym walking casually next thing i know i hear new vegas yeah i've always heard that one is like fucking really ruffle. cool and as that has Ooh, happened a Fort, that's gonna be an event get a star forge hit up star forge i'll hit him up for you to take see a if i can get a free pc and while that's happened i give him a fucking Wow! An upper kick of Thanos straight to its gut, and it sent it to the moon. About five miles away, I uh, the, the police were like surrounding a huge crater. Yes, yes. I think it, that's where it landed. I don't know, bro. Wow. But, yeah, that's what really happened. That's how you got those scars. Anyway, other than that, my lift today was good. Actually, two days in a row, it was squat. Wait, oh, Quinn was unbanned already. Okay, interesting. Okay. So they didn't really care that much. They didn't care that much. They probably just wanted to delete the VOD. <laughs> uh, mods mistype a cosplay name? Wait, what is this stream? Professor, I think this is a typo. I think it's supposed to be Professor. Wait, Bird. what? An Emery <laughs> stream with NMP, Milena, Asmongold, and Jessica Negri? No, it's not. <laughs> I, swear, yep. I swear. Oh yeah, that's I true. Let's thank you, build you one. I don't know what happened. Nah, for real, lost the bar fight. Yeah, Emeru <laughs> changed it. To uh, did you? Someone fucked up. It did you really, really Booney? There's a lot of entries. Mistakes about to happen. Oh no. Number three. Um. Let's see. Oh no, but you were just saying that to what happened to Tyler one. Um. E Rob tells us what happened to his horse. What? E Rob is out here playing Red Dead Redemption 2? Yeah, if you weren't watching last night, my horse Jim died. Rip. It was tragic. Oh. Yesterday. Where is Jim? That one's dead too. Oh, ah, yep, dead horse. It's hard to get any word in with this clown. <laughs> yeah, rip Jim. Ooh, that, that'd be a fun experience, Fourth. Have Danky hook it up. How does that fucking kill him? Yeah, you gotta have the horse survivor on you. I'm sure you're...
You know, I might do a run. Like, maybe we'll play, like, a run of that game where we don't use anything like that and we just do stuff like that. Or if we lose our horse, we lose our horse. It's dead. I don't know. That could be fun. Or some Red Dead roleplay. That could be fun, too. We never really did that. We did it once, I remember. Didn't we? Zoop? Didn't we? And was Fort there? Didn't we all sign into a server at one point? You were like, you kept killing me and I was in the, in the outhouse or something. With Tim. Oh, shit. Um, the RP was cool. The RP was like some of the servers that I watched people play on was cool. Some of them were like way too serious, though. They like, they, yeah, it, was, it would get really cringe when I would watch some streams. Like, like admins would be playing and they would be the, the police and they would like get mad at other players for just even pulling their guns out and stuff. Like, oh, OC mad. It was weird. Um,. Oh, that's right. You never got Red Dead. Okay, I remember that fourth. Extra Emily's fiery speech about 100k followers. Uh, uh, we, uh, I never would have imagined I was a small little bean in Nebraska two and a half years ago. And I never would have thought that some, something would occur like this. So, thank you. And, uh, oh. Ah! Oh, oh my god! Literally almost oh caught herself god. on fire. Emily almost burned your freaking skirt. Wait, put it back on, put it back on. Are you okay? Yeah. We'll clean it later. <laughs> <laughs> that's very... That's M extra Emily fashion right there. I would expect nothing less. Uh, streamer builds an incredible DJ setup that looks like a spaceship. Oh, fuck. Bro. To be a trust fund kid, man. The limits are endless if you're a trust fund kid, you know? Anything you want to do, you can just do it. This room costs, like, a lot of money. Like, these look like, some of these look like custom MIDI controllers. Like, MIDI controllers I've never even seen before. Maybe I'm just out of the game. Yeah, at least, yeah. It's fucking expensive. Not even the full room, but just the architecture alone. The custom racks that he had that built for this stuff. The screens, dude. He looks like he's in shambles. <laughs> hey, man, when you're a trust fund kid, you really don't got to worry about any of that shit. dude insane yeah right yep zoop but at the end of the day he doesn't give a fuck he do whatever he wants wake up choose to do whatever he wants obviously i'm mean, who knows what his life is like but i mean just to be able to build something like this you, you have to have a disposable income who knows though maybe he has a job paid for it all himself you never know yeah yeah it looks like it boonie it looks like that's what happened yeah yeah grounded is on the game pass yep Oh, did he do it for, wait, Danky, do you know that for sure? Probably. You're probably right. Um, Asmin recognizes a brony. Oh, God. All right, number one. Not we the bronies Rainbow again. Dash by Baby Vamp. Isn't that a brony? <laughs> yeah. Brony. How do you know that, Zach? Whoa. Next. It's because Asmin went to war with the bronies. Oh two, my god! Ghostface by Sassy okay, Sassy. I, I got That's really, really cool. worried for a second. I thought I love the whole there was nudity right there. Everything. Like the pink scope. <laughs> um, okay. Uh I think we're done. I think we're done with live stream fails. I think that's it. But you got the Benji's, but it's all Washington. Say you got all the honeys. Wait, XQC introduces his new roommate? Wait, 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 wait. XQC went... Oh, he's live? He's live for the first time in a few days. He was, like, really sick. Chatting. No. Way. Bruh. I have, I have, I have some of these on my Amazon wish list too. Jesus. You seen that? <laughs> you seen that? Okay. Um... Let's see, I think we're done. 
Hans sues Among Us? More cardboard drama teams. Hans Neiman sues Magnus Chess Among Us. What the fuck? He's, this is from five days ago, Felix. Prime. What the fuck? Among, among others. It's 44 pages. Um, let's see. I think we're done. Um, yeah, we're done. Okay, let's watch a video. I gotta go to the bathroom really bad, actually. So what are we gonna watch? Oh, you know what? The new Mark Wiens video looked really good, actually. Thailand street food, all about it. Hey, everyone. Hope you're having an amazing... Um, I listened to Theo Vaughn podcast today. He had Andrew... Wait, Andrew who? Yeah, it's Mark Random Wiens. Andrew in the chat? Which is a beautiful province in Thailand that's known for its mountains, oh, Channel 5. jungles, yeah. oh. and the river Kwa. When really? it comes to food, Kanchanaburi is very well known for Ahan Ba, which directly translates to jungle food. Oh, 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 oh that is... Let's put this in the watch later. Overdose. Maybe we'll watch I that. I just want to drink a jungle curry. So today we are going to go on a jungle food tour of Kanchanaburi. Ooh, We're going to eat at damn, some of the best nice. curry stalls and curry restaurants in the city. Hit someone We're going to eat that. some what a good unique guy. dishes, I have to some go to the wild Thai quickly. food, and I'm going to share all of the spicy food and some of the best restaurants in Kanchanaburi coming up with you right now in this video. Yeah, that's spicy. That's that's insane flavor. So again, good morning. It is a beautiful morning in Kanchanaburi. We're right in the center of the town. This is the hustle and bustle of the morning, which is still very relaxed. And to begin this Kanchanaburi jungle food, jungle curry tour, we are at one of the most popular local Kaukang stalls, which is a rice and curry restaurant. And you have to be here early in the morning. They open at 7 a.m. And from what I read, they sell out of some dishes by 8 a.m. or 9 a.m you won't get some of the best dishes. So we're here, it's just about 8 a.m. I hope they still have the dishes that we can order, but there's just a crowd. You'll see a crowd of people standing outside. I am hungry, I'm ready for some spicy food today. มีอะไรเผ็ดๆครับนกก็เผ็ดชีสอยู่แล้วแล้วก็มีพวกนี้ก็เผ็ดแต่ว่าจะเผ็ดน้อยกว่านกอ๋อแล้วก็มีกระด
life in general. Dig into that egg okay. with the yolk. Ooh, oh, that looks so good right oh, off the bat. Perfect. The egg yolk. Oh, wow. Crunchy yolk. Mix it oh, with wow. that. Oh, wow. Um, okay, wait. Oh, let me read what's going on in chat. Um, um, what? That's so weird. I haven't... Wow. I haven't gotten that offer. That must be a, just like a new thing that they're that offering. Because be one of the highlight dishes. I didn't get that. I don't think maybe I have gotten that offer. And I've just never you noticed can see it. See the finger root in there. You can see the chilies. You can see the basil in there. Next time I sign up, which I'm gonna have to do in like and a week. There was a, a saucy. If I get that offer, I'll let you guys. A saucy bowl. Oh, peppercorns in there too. A saucy curry. I'm not sure. Maybe. Ooh, give it to fourth. Give it to fourth. Oh yeah. Um. Bony. Oh, and ni is it giving away nitro too? Like it's tasty again. Discord yeah, nitro? Just melts in your mouth. There's so many herbs and spices in it, and it just kind of dissolves in your mouth. I love the herbaceousness of it. It's delicious too. The green oh, you got it there. through nitro. This okay. Makes it. Oh, what I wonder if I'm allowed to do that, Booney. Oh, I think so I would flavorful. be. You don't even need to add extra chilies, but just for This the, meal looks fucking impeccable. The pure enjoyment of it, I will. Yeah, that, oh my god, I would drink Especially that. I would literally that drink that. a little bit of chilies and fish sauce. It would be so, oh, it's fish, oh, okay, never mind. Oh my god, Booney, those chilies look spicy, bro. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, my mock up. Mm. I bet no. Aloy, mock. Do you mock up? Let's chase that bite with a little bit of the soup. Pickled mustard greens. Wait, you just boosted the server, Danky? That's just plain and soup. Did you really? And good to accompany, to make your entire meal. Just yes, well you rounded. did. Too spicy oh, for you. Oh, fuck. So that means, <laughs> that means that we get so like extra emotes. Like all of the like BTTV emotes and stuff like that that we have, you can use those in the Discord now. And so I forget what Discord Nitro and boosting actually does, but um, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Don't Scoop of hers. don't ever feel the need to like actually spend your money on doing that. Like you just got you did that for free, right? It was like a free offer to boost it. Like don't don't feel like obligated to like do that because it's a thing. Like some people were like signed up for it where they were boosting the server every month. Um, so don't worry about doing that. I don't give a fuck about Discord that much to have my my server have Add nitro a few more all the time. To it, some of that yolk. Ooh, what up, Science? How you doing? How was your day at work? Were, were, did you get any? Did you take a nap afterwards? How you feeling? I know you you were gonna be tired as fuck today. That was the breakfast. Or depending of on where you're at yesterday, because it's still today for me. Oh yeah, I don't want to boost it too much or too often for true, true. You know, at least he just disappeared. At least he fucking disappeared and didn't try to like show up anywhere else, you know? Whereas like we got like crazy slick like showing up in his his friends' chats, making them have to give statements about it and shit. So next up on this jungle food street food tour of Kanchanaburi. We Eating chilies and no invite, right? Highway, but just a yeah, he took his L respectively. And One of the worst L's you could fucking take and Jada like almost Gang irredeemable. Ba, but like the fact that he went away usually means number two it's restaurant like, location. Good on you two, at least. I think this is yeah. the main <laughs> like, location. Good on you for Anyways, at least doing that. It is a jung another jungle. Yeah, curry, he and bounced exactly. Touche. And they have from what I've heard, from what I've seen, they have a variety of very unique meats. There you go, science. They didn't care. I used to do that at work too. I would go clock in at work and go back out to my car and take a nap. I used to do that at work so much. Within a capitalist system, take as many breaks while getting paid as you can. Self-service, you get your dishes and then you can get your spoons and forks here at the front. So what do you Yup, I have I had that downloaded. I just uninstalled it the other day to install some other stuff, but yeah, oh, I had wow, that, that looks installed fire. for a while. Never played it.
Man, when I saw that yeah on the menu, which is a type of lizard, I had to try the A type the of yeah. lizard. And then also I went with a little bit of a less okay. extreme dish for my second choice. Uh, just a beef, a beef curry. You gotta begin with that koya. Cool, yeah. 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 And you can see the chilies in there. You can see the basil in there. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, man. It's immediately salty. Yeah, it's just chill as fuck at your smoke shop. That's so dope, Very science. kind of like a neutral taste. I'm glad you got that job, man. With a little bit of coriander. Yeah. Yeah, I've just, I, I've just never played it. That's why I had it installed, because I wanted to try it out, but I just I never okay, got around got to it. I will, though, eventually. Head. Wait, do you really, Bodhi? That sounds hilarious. Oh, wow. It's uh, so it's Thai food. He's in a uh, Thai street food, Thailand. It's salty. It all looks it's really so good. The, the lizard, beef, the knowing that it was uh, lizard, made me go, huh? Crunch, it looked good. Of the hairy fruit eggplant, and that's just straight, the flavor of chili, curry paste, no sweetness, just herbs. I, and all, meat. it's all I want to do is go do this, but IRL stream it instead of make like a video out of like a edited beefish. video. Okay, yeah, I, I want to do this so bad, Bodhi. But honestly, you don't need to be famous to do this. You just need to have, you have the money to invest in it. But yeah, that's we great, need to get actually. to a point to where we a little can bit bony, fund it. <laughs> but that's why they've chopped it up, minced it all up, so you can eat it all and just get a little bit of crunch on those data bones plans alone when for you take a IRL streaming. Holy fuck. Mm. Okay. And as we're eating this plate of food, I think it would be a good opportunity to explain to you just a little bit more. Wow, about it looks Thai so good. Food. So in Thailand, that's lizard it is an too. Like I said, I wouldn't want really want to eat lizard, but it looked really good. Which literally, direct translation is jungle food or forest food. Oh, Booney, that's and the that's the plan. That's good. like I, like I was saying at the beginning the of stream for all the IRL streams I have planned coming up. Areas where that are heavily yeah, forested, famous enough to fund it. Jungled. And Kanchanaburi is very famous for jungle food. So when it comes to jungle food, you can be expecting a LA stream will of happen if we meets. And then something complete the really HelloFresh sponsorship. Food in Thailand is that it I will be mean buying an IRL backpack, meats, but also and I'll be coming out to LA for the weekend. And, spices. and then I want to like do, do another trip sometimes. somewhere else. Things that you just pick in the backyard or in the forest, basils, spices, and so additionally, Jungle You've food had crocodile before. Almost when I was on tour in New Orleans, Thailand, I tried to find some alligator, but I couldn't. Like the maximum of flavor, and that's what I love so much about jungle food. And that's why Ooh, I danky, seek out that'll jungle be so food fucking fun, dude. Almost everywhere that I travel in Thailand. Let's. We gotta pick up ramen too. We gotta get ramen and whoever else is in LA. He'll be a back in a bit downloading a few that. games, so I'ma go make food and rest. For sure, Bodhi. Have fun, man. Eat well. Black snake and turtle. I've never had snake or turtle before. Tasted like ham? That's interesting. You always hear people say it tastes like chicken. Black snake this is like fish. Is called Bunam Ahanpa, and it's a very is local black place. snake something it's that lives a in the water? Place. Many local people recommend it. They're famous for jungle curry, but they have turtle. This should be full illegal. Turtle soup of dishes on their menu. Thai dishes, jungle dishes. What up, disaster? Really I'm thinking about place, uh, really if I complete food, my HelloFresh sponsorship and make enough money, I'm gonna meal. do like an LA IRL trip, IRL stream trip. Ooh, that soup. It's pretty quiet around here today. Oh, okay, but those fish look whatever. Not a big fan, but. And I love the different colors of all the different dishes. Man, it looks so good. And again, this is a legendary restaurant. It's been featured by many TV shows in Thailand. A lot of people have been here. Really famous, known again for their jungle curry and for their jungle food in Ganchanaburi. And I'm gonna start with the actual jungle curry itself, which is called gangpa. That and soup I got does it look Latang, really good. Which is Asian red tail catfish. Okay, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of fish, but I would try it. Oh, wow. All the different eggplants in there stand out to me. And within the curry paste... They stand out to you, Mark, do they? Grass, galangal, finger root, and also definitely garlic, some chilies. Not extremely spicy. Could be spicier. 
but I love all the different vegetables in there, and especially the variety of eggplants. Yeah, Boonies, like, I saw mm. the chilies. I'm on my way. The taste, the ingredients are very good. Could be a bit spicier for me, though. Okay, the next dish that we got is blanu on, chuchi blanu on. Blanu on, I believe it's a... Yeah, English, it's a science, fish. for sure. Very aesthetically pleasing. Made in a coconut milk curry. The whole plate looks lots nice. Lots of herbs, there's basil, there's chilies, there's a lot of makrut lime leaves in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick one of these guys. Pick one of these guys up. Pick the whole fish up, put Fuck, it on my you know, plate. I'm, I'm getting kind of Took jealous right now. Curry, I shouldn't have watched leaves. this video. Because I, I don't have like any food that I could grab on, quickly. I eat have some of the bones. Fuck, dude, I'm hungry right bone, now. Which is pretty, pretty thick. It's gonna be a rough so seven hours. The tail is also the highlight of this. So fish. If I want to go get food, I gotta go somewhere. That's funny, right? Yo, guys, let's make a trip. Let's make a, a trip. I'll go live on Discord on my phone, and we'll go to we'll go to the local spot. I'll get myself a burrito from the makrut lime leaves, and that freshness of the sweet basil in there as well. I saw something about that British Bake Off show and they did Mexican food. I was not happy. Oh no, did they not do it right? Uh-oh. Or tree basil. What was wrong about it? very fragrant. And you see the green peppercorns in there. You see all of the makrut lime leaves. Dude, I might, I might do that, incredible. science. This is one of the dishes I'm most looking forward to eating. Like I'll go live in Discord, pull it up it on the beef, stream, so we, we're still okay, live. So it's slices of beef. And you Maybe. can see that curry paste, the seeds in there. You can smell the bayira, the tree basil. Oh man, this smells incredible. Mm. Okay, that is a dish. Everything. The immediate burst, herbal burst of the tree basil. And Americans never. Yo, basil. go. I mean, because that has this. They may not all like a lot it. of them will be uh, mm. the from Mexico. A little bit on the chewy side. That's some natural beef. Go to L.A. and San Diego, you and even Vegas has very good Mexican food. Pepper. Go to Texas, really. New Mexico. It's all about that tree, tree all those, basil. You, you'll, you'll try some of the best. But let me tell you, when I was on tour, and you go up to the Pacific mm. Northwest, it definitely gets Another very questionable. Tired of green peppercorns. I stopped at this one franchise restaurant called Muchas Gracias chicken, once and got a burrito. Pickled bamboo shoots. There's curry paste in here and all of uh. the bamboo shoots, which are sliced up pretty, pretty thin as well. Oh yeah, this is really good. Really tasty, and even the organs are in here as well. Little bits of the gizzard and the heart in there. But I'd go out there and say like Las Vegas and LA, uh, mainly LA. Uh, Southern California have, has like the best uh, Mexican food, but a lot of it is like Mexican American food where it's like very Americanized. Yeah, oh, I'm, oh, oh thank you. Of course it is. Of course it is. Gives you this extreme. She burst made. Of heat uh, and flavor. Ting, is it tinga then, or tinja? It kind of goes away. What is that? And you're thinking, oh, it's not that spicy. Hey, I'm nothing. Starts, I, I have nothing against Taco Bell. You. And then all of a sudden you have this. Warm sensation just going down Tinga? your throat, okay. all the way to your stomach. Love it. Green pepper is one of my favorite yeah, ingredients. Yeah, let's go to Danky's grandma's. I mean, along but, with chilies, uh, of course. But no, there's nothing wrong with Taco you Bell. Deep, you can see but you don't ever want to say it's like authentic is. Mexican food, but that Taco Bell's good, man. Yeah, there's. Oh, As you dig deeper, I used to tour in LA spicier. a lot. And then when I was in bands, I'd play shows in LA all the time, and the green pepper, which is food trucks, street tongue. vendors are, are some Man, of the I best. Jungle food. Yeah, this is just like nothing really crazy. Or it's out basically of the seasoned shredded no, chicken and onions. Good, oh, that's what I usually get in my burritos restaurant. from the spot down the street. Yeah, I get a Love California burrito, too. but it usually comes with carne asada, but I have them switch it with the shredded chicken. It's exactly like that with onions, peppers. Oh, that sucks, Man, that Fork. What the fuck? Dish. That's the dish of the meal, though. And that one is spicy. I wish oh, I knew what so to good. say. Danky's the so one much to, flavor. to help with that, you know. Danky's the one that has that knowledge. Oh, that was a good meal. From here, we're going to go to one knowledge. more restaurant. You want to know how I got this like knowledge? Another highlight restaurant. It's uh, just a little ways outside of town for our next and our final jungle food restaurant in Kanchanaburi today. This restaurant is just on the outskirts of town, probably about a 15 minute drive from the center of town. And this restaurant is called Boom Ahanba. It looks like it could be a highlight. 
Yeah, like I remember uh, if it was like CPU issues, I remember when I didn't have a, a fan hooked up to my CPU, a CPU cooler, and I first booted up the computer, I would like open up GTA 5 and the game was at like one frame per second, less than that. It was like not even playing. Of everything about this place, it's at their home. So I would imagine if it we're was kind of CPU, you wouldn't even be able to do any of the stuff that you're doing. The jungle. There's yeah, I, t I said that. I thought I told you that story on stream. Yeah, tables. when I built this computer the first time, I bought everything for it, except I didn't know you needed a CPU cooler. I didn't know that was a thing and started it up and just was trying to install stuff, play games. It just would not work. Everything, I was able to use the computer, but yeah, I, after like five air. minutes of GTA, I was oh, like, there's man, something wrong. The real deal true jungle yeah spot. I, we're still running okay though we're still running okay oh, they are extremely friendly here. yeah the they person that built my computer kitchen didn't know you needed to see you cooking the jungle food you can already smell <laughs> almost the fucked the whole thing up herbs just around this kitchen oh man i love this place <laughs> okay, so that's asian red tail catfish <laughs> so here are the ingredients going in for the jungle curry. So it's actually not the hairy fruit eggplant, but it's actually Oh, that's so fucked forth. I'm sorry you're going through that, man. Some of the Thai eggplants, trust some of the pea eggplants. I've been a handful of green peppercorns. And red chilies also that are going to go into the jungle curry. And also I've noticed basil, though, which goes into I, I I think my computer is starting to have issues. If I leave it on too long, and I come back to it, like like there was a time where I left it on for a few days, I I came to like start up stream and like nothing would load. I couldn't even shut down my computer. I kept going to shut it down and it wouldn't shut down. And it said my uh my RAM usage was at like a hundred percent. A lot of dishes. <laughs> Restarted well. the computer and it worked fine after that. An AIO failure, okay. You can still feel the water pumping. You just had to uh, Another reseat. Dish that you have oh, to reseat eat. the it's CPU kind of a cooler, okay. Kanchanaburi dish is this type of fried chicken with this kind of sweet, sticky, salty sauce on it. Kai Ruan Kem. Okay, it's called Kai Ruan Kem. That looks appetizing. Frog. Frog. So we're getting jungle curry this time. Yeah, so I've said frog. it before. My favorite foods are uh, a number one jungle is like curry Mexican is food, but then Asian food and Italian food just tie for second place. But watching it get cooked, I'm good. I don't need to see all this. I don't need to see the, the dead flesh. I, I'd rather here. see it cooked. We've got the Pad Pet Muba, which is the wild boar with curry paste and also the Ooh, jungle some wild curry boar. Yo, there's places so in America in where you could go get into a helicopter and, curry paste. and hunt some wild boar resides. with an automatic weapon. <laughs> That's America stuff right there, baby. <laughs> Ah, the love I have for our country sometimes. You can trust them in the kitchen, just from the look of the kitchen, the expertise on their faces, you can trust them with your jungle food needs. Oh, that man, all looks so it's good. Vibrant. You actually smell the chili I don't care what any of it is, I, I will eat all and of then it. And you got a whole steamed fish. Uh, Not that though. That fish looks right? gross as fuck. That, Mano, which is steamed with lime that and looked garlic. disgusting. That's almost just kind of like an extra dish that Ying wanted. But look at that amount of garlic and chilies on top. That's insane. Yeah, yeah I'm good on that fish. Everything that else looks great. 
which is one of their signature dishes here. People said this is the best. And you can see how crispy she fried that. Like it literally looks like pork crackling as it's so crispy, the skin. And then just the bone kind of, they fry it until it kind of shrivels up. And yeah, that's how crispy it is. Ooh, what so did you eat, Booney? First, and then after that, drains it and then stir fries it in this glaze of oyster sauce and soy sauce and maybe a little bit of sugar until it reduces down and just sticky coats the, the fried chicken. Ramen, you wanna, are you still here, Ramen? Anybody else uh, that plays DBD? You guys wanna get a wow. couple DBD oh, rounds oh, in yeah. in a little bit? Oh, that's, that is ridiculously Ooh, tasty. peanut butter sandwich, to just a peanut butter? Do you add anything else? Chicken. The Anytime I do just There's peanut no butter, I add some it. honey on no it. No flour Ooh, on so it. So good. No, it's just the, all the fried crispiness is directly onto the meat. 